much. So here's the world beater, Hamzat Shumayev. Wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon. Whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamzat Shumayev that they separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. So here is Sean Strickland. He is one of one, the inimitable pride of Corona, California, training under Extreme Couture's banner here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Great teammate, outstanding boxer. He lives in the gym. And you're probably not going to outpace this guy over 25 minutes. So it, it can be a little bit of a mind-bending exercise, not just in training, but also in the fight itself. Sean Strickland is not going away. Just ask Israel Adesanya how that stylistic matchup went for him. Now we'll see how Strickland can fare here tonight and if he can get back to the precipice as the UFC middleweight champion. championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bosch Kibaya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight Champion of the world, Sean Strickland! Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so here is the bona fide UFC middleweight contender, Sean Strickland. And once he found his weight class, he has been unstoppable. A lot of people believe that eventually 12 pounds of UFC gold are going to be wrapped around Sean Strickland's waist. If that is going to be his reality, tonight is one he's got to have, and he believes the clinch game is going to be the key to his success here tonight. Now goes to the uppercut. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, nice jab. Takedown defense is there. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. All right, the wrestler having little trouble. Oh, oh judo toss. Made it look easy. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. <laughs> Strickland getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. He passes to half guard. Now he's going full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Just 
over three minutes to go. I need you to In the half guard. Mount this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Strickland. Gotta be very careful there. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a oh. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Chimaya. So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Shemayev's right back to the full mount. Under two minutes to go. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Shemayev's going for the sub here. Oh, that Von flu choke is tight. Slide back up. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Hamza Chimai. There it is. Now he's running him up. He's got to be careful here. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, and this is really thing. Nice defense there. Huge block. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. on the judges and big picture I think could set him up for future success in the next one. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. What? These guys go back and forth but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, let's look back at some of the action, D.C. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his Ready approach in that ground and pound Ready. sequence. Second round underway. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize him. <laughs> You're funny. He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hands. And that's the detail that everybody's missing. He's sitting in that half guard, and his bottom half is securing his opponent. So his top half is moving. It's adjusting. He's posting his hand on his, on his face. He's dropping he elbows. When he's able to pull back, he's throwing his punches. There is a real, real... Right. There is a real intelligence in his approach to his ground and pound. And it's truly, truly great to watch. It is unbelievable to watch a guy so skilled in such an important area of fighting. Oh, Darce Choke locked and loaded. Oh, oh, he got out. He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that Darce Choke. Pretty 
good work with the ground and pound here by Hamzat Shimai. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting, starting at him. And now he's got the back. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Sean Strickland. Escape, escape, oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Needs to work on this position. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. And now he's attempting to choke. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's got it locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Sean Strickland. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh, big left hook there. They're so evenly matched here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. And very effective with the ground and pound. Setting up a submission. He's got the sub locked in. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Well, some high-level grappling here. The takedowns, the ground control. He seemingly has mastered all of the little nuances when it comes to keeping your opponent down. And truly understanding where you want to be. Not many guys can control a full-grown man, a, his opponent, as this young man does. Strickland's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. He's got to be careful here. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Strickland's in half guard. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Strickland. Oh. Good run. Oh. So for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, you nasty ground and pound. You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful ground and pound, and it looks like he has a cut now. 
Nice shot there by the champ. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cup. Oh, right into Mount. And pound is there once again. Strong work here by Hamza Chimaya. Hard ground and pound. Some swelling now starting to appear. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, the fighter's gonna have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Really starting to bleed profusely out of that eye. It's not looking good, champ. Well, it's leaking down his face. The guy's been beat up, and now this cut has become a real issue. She might have tried for a submission here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Relentless pressure from the top by Sean Strickland. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Wow, right, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter, and to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside position. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's gonna take a look at him, check out the swelling, give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him and decide whether or not he can continue. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I yeah. love it when he lets it continue, especially right. when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to do a fight at school. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like Dr. Stoppages, so they'll flip. They start bullets. And sometimes guys' eye is hanging off the side uh -huh. of his head. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, 
submission defense on oh, God. Display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Defense. Establishing the jab. Oh, nice takedown defense. Sidekick, well placed. Well, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh. This is big. That's big. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, he got it. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh. His opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like they let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Under three minutes to go in round four. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it. Nice sub attempt. It's tight. Oh, it looked pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Yeah, Billy. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Just over two minutes now to go. Another strike lands right to that targeted spot. The swelling continues to get worse, and I would not be surprised if the referee calls in the ringside position to take a look. Oh, big shots from the top. Right into side control. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, wow. Oh. How in the world did he escape that submission? All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter.
Shimaev's in half guard now. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Strickland's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. Back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. Breathe, relax. You are fine. We expected a bloody fight. We knew this was going to happen. We expected that war. Refocus. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? You ready. Yeah. Fifth and final round. Yeah, left hook found its target. High-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Strickland. Nice straight right lands. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Takedown defense holds up. Strickland's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Great timing on that double leg. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Strickland. Get the ball here. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so the head damage continues to land, and at this point, man, gotta think the ringside physician is even getting Nancy to check it out. Oh, yeah. You can tell that they want to check it out. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Looked pretty tight to me. with the ground and pound. That was a slick transition. Full side control now. Let's go. Get him off. Get him off. Shimaev's back inside control here. Oh, we got blood now, folks. Doctor might need to step in shortly. We got a huge situation here. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see the fight. doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got a short defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it.
Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. In the half guard. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, got to protect your neck. He's a choke. He's locked in. You got to be kidding me. He's out. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of fun. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. 20 seconds left. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strickland's has got full mount now. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display to him. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 49 45, and 49 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Hamza. Bars Chimaev! All right, so the welterweight cut, never seemingly an easy one for Kamzat Chimaev, but certainly no issues on fight night. He goes the distance and gets it done by way of decision. I mean, we saw it, right? We saw it with...